What's up, YouTube? This is Alpha Trading Company, guys. Tonight, man, I hope you have a nice start of the weekend, man. Because this week is was super explosive, man. I mean, we we were watching this on the weekend, right? I told you guys we need to be prepared for both scenarios, right? Because we can have again, if we were uh, pointing to the downside, and like I told you, you know, on the video last night, the bounces can happen, right? We were at a we were at a critical zone that if the levels would have broke today, we were probably gonna have like a crazy drop, right? But the market, you know, had a little uh, a little bounce. We can call it this as a, a you know, when I, when I said this market recovery rally, like small rally, I, I wouldn't say this is a rally, but definitely, you know, we have to keep an eye on it because there is a small momentum going on right now. I don't think it's going to be for too long. You know, remember that the, the bigger downtrend were still to the downside, right? So nothing has really changed, right? But you still have to assess this every single day and you need to be prepared for that, right? So, Nvidia was also another banger that we you know we uh we we I did went over it because we have ER on Wednesday I believe so uh, you have to be ready for this kind of things because you know the money is there right we have to be ready for all every single well, not every single stock but mainly the ones that you know we keep trading right and a lot of you guys like to trade options and uh you know this was an absolutely banger today right so I can see Nvidia reports Wednesday after the close so we can still have some momentum tomorrow right based on how it close today. Which I'm gonna go over the board, go over at the end of the video as well. But let's really quick what we have on the calendar, right? We do have tomorrow. We we'll start tomorrow with economic events. We have the existing home sales report. Then you know Wednesday we have PMI. We have AI Petroleum. Thursday we have jobless report and a couple of the reports, durable goods orders and Chicago Fed National Activity Index. Now the most important here is gonna be Jeremy Powell speaking on Friday, right? So definitely whatever you do. You don't want to be holding too long for this weekend, sorry, for this week, especially Friday, because I'm telling you, it's going to be choppy. It's going to be super volatile. Thursday and Friday is the place that you don't want to be holding, right? And I said before, like I said before, if you're going to trade something, if you're going to definitely want to try to, you know, profit this week, you have to do it before Thursday and Friday, because that's when, you know, the market is going to be choppy and slow, right? It's going to be more, uh, you know, less uh, reward, less risk reward, on those trades, so you have to be careful on that. That's really my opinion. That's how it thinks. Like I said, today was Monday, even though we were, we were with a low volume overall in the market on the spot, there were crazy opportunities, right? Tesla was one of them, and video was one of them, right? And another penny stocks that I'm actually gonna go over as well at the end of the video. So let's go back to a spot, right? What happened today, right? We had a crazy gap up, right? Which you know, it was part of part of this market recovery that I kind of mentioned about, right? But you can see that. That that gap out start fading up, uh, pretty much on the main, on the mainly, on the main in the morning, pretty much you know that part of the day, right? It had a nice pop, right? But still, you can see how the EMAs and the BY were flat, not really picking a direction. So we have, we can see how that start fading off around ten o'clock, ten fifteen. We start picking a direction, right? Based on what I've been teaching you guys, once we close with the EMAs and BY, that was our starter position. And I, I did draw a range, right? At a deep I gave you that that range earlier. So I hope you guys took it. Because once we broke down, once we break down, right spy move down, right? And of course, it went pretty much closer to, to support that because we currently that support it's a 435 or 73. And we we went a little bit lower, right? But you can see how we bounce and of course the recovering at that point was not. You know, for me, it was not an entry, but we did have the second opportunity here based on the recovery, right? Once we broke, uh, you know, our trend lines, the 200 EMA, the 20, the 60, the view up, every single indicator that we use broke, right? Around 437.22. Once it closed, we got a buying pressure data. The only thing we had to do, it was ride a trend all the way up, right? So you had that second opportunity on spot. Now, like I said, the trend hasn't changed. You know, if you zoom out, you're going to notice how even on the four-hour chart, we're still in between the 20 May. Nothing has changed because that's not a clear break. On the daily chart, we are still between uh, the 60 May. We still have selling pressure on the stone and spiral roll. And it was, it was it, because the RSI was too low, it made sense this bounce. It made sense this recovery, right? But let's see how long it actually can last. So let's say that tomorrow we do we do have this momentum. The momentum continues. I'm going to be keeping an eye on, on the next persistence, which is a 441.34.
we do break that, we, I believe we can move up to 443, 444, which is that's where the 200 EMA and the 60 EMA is sitting. So that's gonna be my range to the upside tomorrow, right? And this is just, again, assuming that we're gonna have more momentum coming in. Now, if we do not have that, right? If actually SPY start giving up the gains that it did today, because you can clearly see on the third minute, we're still below the 200 May, right? So I'm keeping an eye on this. I'm keeping an eye on this 437.8460 MA, right? If tomorrow we break that in pre-market, it's most likely we're gonna read the support, right? At 435. And if the day goes red, we can easily read this previous low, which is 433, right? So again, don't ignore that we are on a, on a, on a still, we're still on a downtrend. Don't ignore that because you can get trapped easily on a pullback on a huge, you know, knife down if that happens, right? So take that with a grain of salt and let's, you know, see how that works tomorrow. Tesla, similar situation, right? It started bouncing now. You know, remember we had a strong close on Fridays after hours. And today we actually had a nice, you know, buyer step in, right? We had a crazy breakout on the morning, right? And of course we play out this based on our levels. We had a nice, we, that's pretty much my trade that I did in the morning. Once we close above um, basement, because I was looking at the five minute, once we had a confirmation above the VWAP, right? I rolled this from 224 to 22s, right? Depending if you were looking at the one minute as well, towards 229, from almost 230. So that was like an eight, seven dollar move, right? Which was absolutely insane. Later on the day, you could have played the bounce, right? And then, you know, the uptrend channel, but that really depends on how prepared you were. If you were having your, you were looking at your levels, if you were looking at your indicators, but overall, Tesla is still looking bearish. The same thing as the spy. We're still below trend lines, right? We're still below the 60 minutes. So tomorrow, I'm going to be keeping an eye on this because this is going to be a key low, right? If tomorrow we break these 235.51 resistance, which is also going to be the 236.1760 May, if we break that, I believe we can possibly move towards the 200 May, like, like a retest. So that's a pretty decent move, like 245 to 44, right? We can get close to the area. Maybe we test it and get rejected. That's a possibility. Now it can also be the possibility that tomorrow we can move towards this 235 in pre-market and get rejected and then pull pullback towards 220s to 20. Uh, actually, support it at let me tell you 222.37, right? So that's another you know a scenario for tomorrow and Tesla. So everything's gonna really depend on how the buyers remain on the stock tomorrow, right? So keep an eye on these levels, right, and see how they react. And B, it was an absolute monster on this. Like I said, this is just crazy, man. I touched this topic on, you know, last night video. And I tell you guys, there might be the possibility for a run up on NVIDIA because, like I said, we have earnings, right? This is a strong company. Even though, the, you know, the hype is done, you know, we know this because, the, you know, the AI was a hype, right? That doesn't mean, you know, there's not going to perform bad. But I believe this is a price in action. And what, what does that mean is that this move, they are already anticipating the earnings. I, I personally believe they're going to be, right? But that doesn't mean that they, they be, they're going to go up because they, they, you know, the report needs to be extremely bullish, like huge numbers for really big expectations, right? Because that's, you know, the market trades based on the future. So we need to uh, be prepared. You know, if, we are, if you're writing this, if you play this today, you have the like, profits. You cannot let this slip your hands, right? Because this was an absolutely banger on NVIDIA today. Of course, I gave it to the other community. They bank on this, you can clearly see here. But anyways, uh, based on what we're looking at here, I think if we actually have, if tomorrow momenta continues, NVIDIA is very likely to break new highs, right? We are at 470. We're not really close, like far away from the 480.44 resistance, right? We break that, I believe NVIDIA can make new numbers, right? It depends on how it moves because like keep an eye on it. You know, only today, only today, it moved, he opened a 462.20 and he closed a 470. So that's about like $8. No, I'm lying. This opened at 442, right? This is a 443 and we close at 470. That is crazy, man. That's almost like a $17 move, right? So if we got it again, tomorrow we can, you know, easily close at 485. Maybe it depends how, you know, how far it squeezes, right? It, it, it has to happen tomorrow. Like I don't think I really don't think you know it's gonna happen on Wednesday because we're already having these economic events happening. You know we're getting overbought as well. You know the RSI is at seventy five, so it needs to con you know the, if the continuation happens on this, 
it needs to happen tomorrow, right? This is the, it, it's just how it looks and how it's be, right? Because remember, nothing's gonna go out forever. It's gonna have to pull back, right? So if the bulls want to keep this, you know, keep breaking out, they need to keep pushing up as long as they can, right? So tomorrow, when I'm looking, like I said, we are pretty much we close up with support. We do have support at four sixty nine point fifty six. If we break that tomorrow in pre markets, because we already seen some selling pressure coming in, I believe that pullback towards the four fifty six point forty six. Uh, sorry, four sixty four point eighty two support is gonna be a point that you wanna set because it's also a twenty may align in there, right? So that can be a nice uh pullback, maybe a dip if it holds that, right? So keep an eye out now. If he breaks, then then you know we're gonna have a decent pullback towards the 60s, 450s, 455, right? If not, if he bounces there, like saying keep an eye on it because we can probably make new highs tomorrow, right? Definitely right now we have 472.93 high of the days. So if we break that tomorrow, we most likely will make new high of the days, right? So keep an eye on that as well. Also for penny stocks, we NBOS. I trade this one as well around 16 cents, right? There's a little hype, there's a lot of chatter on this one. I traded from 16 to 20, make nice profit on this. And actually it made ended up making a new higher today after hours to 21.89. Now, why this? Because if you zoom out, right? If you actually go look back, right? What's really happening on MBOS it is pretty much projecting from this, it seems like critical area for new highs. Previously, last time when he broke that, he went to 220 to 0.26 cents. Now it's having some trouble breaking out, right? But if I believe in MBOS, has this high behind and it actually you know makes that 22 cents break, right? We can see new high. We can do, we can go to 30s. Maybe the volume, you know, remains with this, right? Daily doesn't really look that bad. You know, we have that little bounce. We're still closing above the EMAs. Again, our 200 miss at 32 cents. So this is why I'm telling you this might be a good range here if momentum continues. We can see how bars are stepping in and today we're a crazy amount of bars, right? So this is something to look out, right? Definitely what I'm looking at pullbacks, maybe a pullback towards the 18 cents, maybe to the 16 cents, which is the 60 MA, right? And that's gonna be it for dips. If it goes below that, then you should consider having a stop loss. Remember, nothing to do with financial advice, guys. You should be looking out this on your charts, on your levels, making you don't need the, right? I believe they do have a uh, news or new catalyst coming because there's some talk about, uh, you know, buyback of shares, which that can actually be some, you know, uh, you know, positive from the price action on the stock but anything can happen on the market, right? So keep an eye on that, guys, right? And uh, be ready for tomorrow. Bio actually may as well a nice move. You know, we bounce from that support. You know, if you guys were adding those dips, it, even today, you already got paid, right? We tapped it to anime, got rejected, but that's okay because of 560. The four hour already, you know, showing sellers are pretty much exhausted. We believe we have a, green, a crazy green day, right? And then, you know, we have some search for volume, some sort of PR, that will, you know, allow to the stock break out. This can easily tap to sevens, right? Easily. You know, the average volume is today, it's a 227. We trade today at 147 and it's Monday. So this can easily break out. Like I said, I've been telling you, this is a string. I've been adding dips. I believe this has huge potential. You know, we already seen SOS, which is another prison reverse split, making huge move today, right? From like fours to a 98, which is over 100% return on this. So these, you know, reverse splits are making human runs. And I believe Bio is on the list and it's actually waiting for its time. It's just taking its time and I'm, I have done, right? I don't I don't mind to wait. I'm doing the best that we can and I believe this has huge potential. So, you know, hold it up there. Like I told you guys, I'm willing to keep buying dips. As long as it doesn't go below $4, I will continue to buy the dips. All right, guys? So I hope you guys uh, you know, have a nice day. I hope you guys bank. If you have any questions, don't forget to let me know. You guys can DM me, send me, you know, tag me in the chat, right? I'm going to do my best to reach out to you guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. We do have more updates, more bangers coming as well, right? Keep an eye on it. Also, check the link in the description, guys, if you guys want to sign up for other community. I have my trades in for seven, I'm a guidance, right? And other things to going on there. But I hope you guys have a nice day, guys. And tomorrow, bank it because we are ready to crush this week. All right, guys? So keep an eye on that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay guys? Bye. Take care. What's up guys, this is Juan Pacheco, coming out of you guys today. If you guys want to start making some money and achieving those goals, that's financial freedom you guys are looking for, you need to start investing in yourself, you need to start investing in knowledge, all right? So join me to the Alpha community. I'll be there with you guys, guiding yourself to the market. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow on the market because I'm going to get you guys get some money, all right? So see you guys.